Chase Sonata is gone, and a great car, really cool. Um, had a, a blast with it, especially the fact that it got 44 miles to the gallon, which is insane. I used hardly any gas, felt really kind of bad about that, and good about that at the same time. Uh, but now, what has just come in is the Jeep uh, Cherokee Limited 4x4. Let's go check it out. I like it. It's got side pocket doors. Center console pocket for new beds, things like that. That's the shit knob. Deep dish pizza. I mean, a uh, uh, cubby hole. I mean, center console. You know, put a lot of stuff in there. Right there. It's even got this center console in the dash. Woo. Looks like fun. I'll have to take it for a spin later. Hello, bug. How are you? All right, time for a costume update. Got all kinds of stuff that Kathy's doing. Things with silver fabric. Yeah. How's it going? Ooh. Good. Ooh, nice. Very silvery. Yep. <laughs> all right, so here's the finished contraption for the inside of the pencil sharpener. Bob did a fantastic job. Kathy added some really awesome green fleece. Never know. Pretty much because that's that's the only color she had. Just to keep it soft. I like it. It's very um, environmental. <laughs> when the cookies are out, yeah. Kathy's working way too hard. You rang? Why don't you get silver paint while you're out? Uh, I will do that. Thank you. Show me something silver. This goes on here. Fits. Oh, the back side's already on. This piece is on here. Yep. And I just have to figure out how to attach it all. Easy peasy. Not as easy as you might think. That looks good though. That's got a great effect. Bug and Sammy, I have a question for you. <laughs> <laughs> Your question is Do you want to go bye bye? Okay. While Kathy continues to work on her stuff, I'm going to take the Jeep on its maiden voyage up into town, yes, to buy silver paint. With the dogs. Come on, let's go! Alright, driving the, the Jeep Cherokee Limited up into town. It is kind of a beastly little car. Kind of, kind of scary tough looking. It's, um, you know, with most of the Dodges and the Challengers and the, you know, Chrysler and everything else, um, the brand is really thick in its design. And you can tell right away with the, with the IP and with the steering wheel, it's like solid as a rock. Uh, this is definitely Jeep material. We had a lot of people over the house, got to meet some new people. Uh, Ken's friend Carol and my brother's friend uh, Ennis and his son Lucas. That was the first time we had met them. Uh, so it was kind of fun, kind of hanging out. Oh. My brother just leave me a message. Chuh. Everything is just thick. All the knobs, you know, this thing is huge. Look at the size of that thing. All these knobs, these are enormous. Cool. Even the shift knob. The shift knob is like, like shifting a huge bone.
Okay, I mentioned a couple of vlogs ago that I would do a, a little story based on an illustration, uh, either a car or something that Kathy's built, or in this case, comics. Uh, this is the first book of random fireballs that come out of the Malibu Surfside News, which I do weekly. Uh, different cartoons for different different reasons, you know, that kind of stuff. So I thought I'd randomly pick something and see what uh, what I can find. So, okay, here's uh, here's one I did. Uh, this one, this one is actually kind of a cool inspiration. So this is a fire truck, and I'm riding along on the top, and there's a fire guy that are inside there. Uh, does he really need to come with us every single time? This was actually inspired by a drive. It was a five minute drive episode that we did with Malibu Engine 70. I'll actually link it, link the episode in the show notes or right up here. Put it over there. Should fit right in that spot. Um, that was really fun. I mean, who doesn't want to ride in a fire truck? If you, if you get a chance, I don't think there's anyone on the planet who wouldn't want to ride around in a fire truck. But it hit me in a way that I, I didn't quite expect because I've been in all kinds of cool cars and I've driven and driven and been driven in uh, very unique vehicles over the years. Um, and when the chance came up to be able to ride in this fire truck uh, here in Malibu, I thought, oh, this is gonna be fun. Obviously, this is gonna be a, a blast. But there was a, t there was a moment in, and, and there might, might even be a shot, there's a moment where I'm looking out the window during this episode and I kind of cannot believe that I'm riding this thing. And it's what fire fire engines and firemen represent. And this is a shout out. If you're a fireman and you're watching this, um, hats off to you. The the people that handle these things we can't handle. The people that that every time these these firemen show up, um, they're they're all great guys. Uh, they're all in great shape. They're just, you know, fantastic guys to be around and I've met so many of them. So uh, that illustration was for you guys, and I really, really appreciated the time that uh, that we took that spin with those guys um, here in, in Engine 70 in Malibu, and we just had so much fun. So um, that's what it's about for me, to be able to, to ride around, uh, I don't care if I'm driving or being driven, if you got a cool car, you want to take me for a spin, then email me and let's go. <clears throat> okay, so that's vlog 157, I'm out of here, continue watching the vlog, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Someone just emailed me, we're going for a spin. I don't know where we're going. It's, it's crazy times.